Welcome to Lviv. In this video, my expat diary will introduce you this beautiful Ukrainian city. Good morning from Lviv or Lvov, how the Ukrainians say, or Lemberg, how does the Germans say. This is a beautiful city. This is the view from my new Airbnb apartment. And this is my apartment. It only costs 12 euro a night. Probably a bit cheaper because of the pandemic. And it has a beautiful kitchen as well. And I enjoy it here so far. So let's see what the city has to offer. After five months being stuck in Germany, finally I'm out again. Yes! So it's a wonderful day today. It's a bit noisy here with the uh, train. So I'm going to explore the city. So let's have a little look at this church. Lviv used to belong to Poland until 1939 and is located only 50 kilometers away from the Polish border. So I got some shawarma for two dollars. So this is the wonderful opera house, but there are too many electricity lines. Well, the electricity lines are good because many buses are using them, although not those. It's a wonderful good morning here in Lviv. This is the opera house behind me and I'm wearing my new yellow glasses to block the blue lights so I can sleep better at night because I always sleep bad like yesterday. That's why I'm up so early today. It's like 8 a.m. and I'm out here. I mean on the one hand it's bad that I sleep bad but on the other hand it's good so I can get out of the house earlier and explore the city when there are no people around. So I'm thinking about letting my drone fly filming the city from above. The Opera House was originally built when Lviv was the capital of the autonomous province of Galicia. Later, under Polish rule, it was known as the Grand Theater, and during the time of Soviet rule, entering patrons would pass by a towering statue of Vladimir Lenin. The memorial of the Vienna defense. Also a nice party in town. So, here's a very beautiful viewing platform where you can see the city center. So here's the memorial of the Ukrainians who died during the protests in 2013 in Kiev. Lviv is such a beautiful city. Just look at this architecture. Everywhere is something to discover here. I've only been here to Lviv for a few days and I already fell in love with the city. It's one of my favorite cities here in Europe because it is inexpensive, it is so beautiful and people are really friendly. It is 20 degrees today and does it have snow from two weeks ago I think. There was a lot of snow here. So it must be very beautiful in winter when it's all white. Hmm. Interesting alleys here. The thing that impressed my expat diary most in Lviv was the beautiful architecture that characterizes the old town. So here is uh, the city hall. Uh, usually you can go on the top, but it's currently closed due to the pandemic. The tourist train still goes, I guess, despite the pandemic. Its population accounts about 700,000, and the city is known for its art and culture. Well, it's not the best. I love the city in the world. So that's supposed to be the best hot chocolate in Lviv. It's a bit difficult to talk with the mask. Anyway, let's try the hot chocolate. Every Ukrainian knows that the best hot chocolate comes from Lviv. So the hot chocolate here literally is hot chocolate. I mean, it's, it's not like a drink. It's, it's very thick. That's what they give you the spoon. It is super delicious. Ah, the church is here, just great. Beautiful weather today. Interesting monuments. There's the Ukrainian Statue of Liberty. Here, they have a miniature model of this large sculpture. Very interesting. That's a nice candy shop with a pirate cat. Ah, another beautiful castle here, but a very busy street. Ah, another beautiful church, just recording whatever I can find here in this beautiful city. 
So, here we have a very beautiful uh, tram station. So here's a pretty little park which is called uh, Park Imeni and there's still snow. It's really hot today. I don't know who this is. Yeah, pretty architecture here. Whoa. Another hot chocolate here in Lviv. Options. They have uh, dark chocolate, they have white chocolate, they have milk chocolate, and uh, you can mix them uh, three, three times. Mix? Can you mix all of them? Yes. Uh, A mixed one then? Mix. Oh, chocolate animals. So, another hot chocolate. Oh, it's not hot actually, it's just warm. This time with milk flavor. And it's funny that the hot, little hot chocolate costs as much as a taxi ride to the airport. Yeah. Almost. It's 60 Griefner and the taxi is 70, so wait. Here, yeah, beautiful old thing which might be a school. Yeah, or I think it's a house. It's a, it's a palace. It's a castle. Oh, what is this? Oh, ah, this is the university here. Yes. Ah, too bad everything is closed. Uh -huh. Now we're here at the graveyard, one of the most interesting graveyards in Ukraine. Lutsharkiv Cemetery. Uh, it's over 200 years old. We actually need tickets for this graveyard. So we had to buy tickets, it's almost two dollars. My expert diary couldn't think of any other graveyard that charges an entrance fee, except the airplane graveyard in Bangkok. And why this graveyard is so famous? Uh, this one, this is the um, uh, grave of the famous Ukrainian um, author, Ivan Franko. He's more known for uh, his uh, political novels, uh, but he also was writing like really nice uh, romantic lyrics. It's been sunny for a week and they still have snow here on the graveyard. It is unbelievable. When was the last time you had snow? It's like a week, two weeks? I think it was uh, two weeks ago. Two weeks already? Unbelievable. So two that's why you must have ago. so much snow that it still lasts a week. And we had 20 degrees just this week. So today we're here at a bear sanctuary. It's called Domadzir. I'm not sure if I pronounce it correctly. So here, these are the bear souvenirs. Oh, heavy snow. Wow. Looks cool here. Oh, they're having meat here. They're making bear meat. No bear. Oh, they just pick in. Yes. A little park for the kids here. So she said it's here or right? She, oh. she lives there or... Uh, first section brown bears. There's the first one. What does it say? The bear is half right now because the of bear? trauma. Yeah, because of trauma. So the bear is traumatized. <laughs> What's wrong with the bear? Trauma. Some, I don't know, something happened with... Something happened with the bear. It was very entertaining to hear an Ukrainian woman starting singing when the bears were quarreling. Oh. Don't feed the bears and they just cross out honey. So it's because everybody thinks bears love honey. Well, this is not Winnie Pooh. He seems dangerous. And the high protection. Here's also for the birds and apparently they rescued this bear from the zoo. So now it's here in a sanctuary under much better conditions. <laughs> survival guide for the bear so don't pose like this pose like that mm -hmm. interesting this bear sanctuary is located 20 minutes by car outside of Lviv and is definitely worth the four dollar entrance fee so that's already it here from the bear park it was rather small but for three euro 
Uh, it was still fun and nice to see that the bears are living in good conditions. So highly recommended, especially since it's in English, they even offer English tours. See you can in Villa Dolorosa. The steps of Jesus. Wow. So cool, all these figures. So another step. Step 10, but we don't know what it's about. Yeah, Jesus had a really bad time. Step 12, the crucifixion. And then Jesus got down from the cross when he was already dead. This sacred path that resembles the Via Dolorosa of Jerusalem is located nearby of the Bear Sanctuary. And as it was Sunday, plenty of pilgrims came to worship. And there he got resurrected. It's not very Corona conforming there. That's a special cave, very interesting. So there's already some sort of our tour from the religious part here in Lviv. Yeah. <coughs> mm, beautiful. It's so empty. Religion in Ukraine is diverse, with the majority of the population adhering to Christianity, especially Orthodox Christianity. To our car. Pretty, pretty the chapel. So welcome to my new Airbnb. So now we have a little upgrade. It's 15 euro per night, but still it looks really nice for the price. See, so yeah, this is the bed. Well, it's a studio, but it's a pretty, pretty nice studio. Just think the bed is here and the TV is there, so I cannot watch while I'm in bed, but still nice. And we are right here in the city center. Wow. And good weather today. Ah, it's a pretty alley here with these umbrellas. So I just got from the dentist, clean my teeth, only $15. It's very cheap here in Ukraine. That's why I love it. And also this umbrella. But we don't need umbrellas today because it is really sunny. Look at the weather, blue sky. So now we're here at the little park, which is next to Lviv. Uh, so this park doesn't really seem so cool. This hiking pass really sucks. A nice little house here in the woods. Actually, the park is not so bad. The houses look fine. It's like a windmill. Oh, yeah. oh it's actually pretty here with the swans. Oh, cool, they're having storks. And a cute Russian style playground. Looks like an Asian temple. This is the park. I had this horrible hiking experience because I guess I got in the wrong exit. Oh, and they seem to have nice activities here. Pottery. And it's open during Corona. I just woke up and I see beautiful snow outside. It is snowing. But the streets are not white yet. Hopefully soon. Ah, I'm not the only one who's excited. 
It's beautiful to see the stage in the snow. Oh, they even have a strip club here. Just in downtown, but it's probably closed. This would be a very beautiful side street if shops are open. Oh, it snows even heavier now. Wow. Oh, beautiful. It's crazy. She shows her boobies. What is this? It's like a shop which has many uh, football. It's another beautiful day, no snow today, so it's actually a monastery. Lviv is full of beautiful churches, and on that day, my expat diary decided to visit the most famous churches of the city, even though he is not religious himself. It's a really beautiful medieval architecture here. Very hey, pretty houses here. Oh, one of the most beautiful churches here. Wow. So this guy made the first Kyrillic book. Petrov. Very famous here. The church. Some of the churches offered a truly magical atmosphere and were truthfully breathtaking. One doesn't have to be Christian to enjoy these enchanted vibes. Oh, there was this beautiful church. This one was way more beautiful on the inside than outside. And the others are the opposite. Uh, here they're giving food to the homeless. That's very nice. Oh, oh you gotta take a tram now. Mm. Really cool. So we're getting tickets online. I thought you have these machines on the side. It's so cheap. It's only 20 cents, and if you get caught, the fine is only 5 US dollar. That's unbelievable. Ukraine offers some of the cheapest public transportation in entire Europe. A 10-minute taxi ride costs less than a city bus ticket in Germany. Wow! So, beautiful weather here. It's really nice to take the tram, and it's really cheap. That's well off. So we're getting off here? Yeah. All right. This is Anya, and Anya is going to buy cigarettes now. And then we're going to this church. So now we're going to visit this church. Church shop. So here's the entrance. Oh, the church is under construction. That's not good. So now we're going up to the church tower. This is insane. We made it. There's a beautiful view here. Oh, things were worth it. This church was not only beautiful from the inside and outside, but also offered stunning views on the city. Uh huh. Bandera. And what did Bandera do? No. Bandera was a Ukrainian right-wing politician who got murdered in Munich, Germany. The paintings, the map of Ukraine, Lviv, Kiev, angels, so happy, the children did it. Majestic. St. George's Cathedral is a Baroque Rococo cathedral located in the city of Lviv, the historic capital of Western Ukraine. It was constructed between 1744-1760 on a hill overlooking the city 
and is of Catholic Greek nature. Ah, another pretty church here. This is bullshit. Ah, when the shops are closed though. This caramel. Nice decoration. Oh, they have birds here. It's a really nice restaurant. Super nice decoration. So, are we getting funny borscht here? And you have? Uh, pierogi, varenike with cherry. Yes, this is very similar to the pelmeni. <laughs> Witchcraft. Mm -hmm. Do you like a show? Hmm? What is this? It's uh, dry ice. Oh, just dried ice. Yeah. Ah, I see, I see. Oh, that's why it's cold. No, it's warm. Oh, it's warm. Why do we have dried ice? To make a show. Oh, for the show, <laughs> only for the show. But why? Because it's warm. Why? It's uh, warm too. It's warm. dried ice is warm. Oh, yeah. really strange. <laughs> okay, thank you. Welcome. Enjoy. Now. So here we have. Banosh. What is banosh? Banosh is uh, this corn porridge. Uh, corn porridge. Okay. Just let me check. Mmm. Very delicious. Okay. With cheese. See, it's one of the best views in the city from the Citadel Hotel. It's a beautiful view here in a city called Veneke. The Veneke village is located very close to Lviv and is famous for having a large tobacco factory in the past with more than 1,000 workers. Here's a pretty pond. They have nice statues, unicorn. Oh, and they have cute little stories here. Probably the tower fair one day. So, time to leave to Ukraine, back to Germany, and then to Mexico. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my expat diary and support this channel.